Hello and welcome to Anatomy with Dr. P. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the organs of the urinary system. Now, the first organ we're going to talk about are these two organs. They're kind of small and bean-shaped. They're located just under our 12th rib. These are the two kidneys. Coming out of the kidneys, we can see these muscular tubes, which are known as the ureters. And the two ureters are going to run down into this muscular sac in the pelvis, which we refer to as the urinary bladder. This is going to store the urine until we're ready to secrete it. Now, to see the last major organ of our urinary system, we're going to move over to these two models. Now, on this side, we have a male model, and on this side, we have the female model. Now, here we can see our urinary bladder, and if we open this model up and look on the inside, we can see that coming out of the bottom of the urinary bladder, and in this case, since it's a male, running through the penis is the urethra. So the urethra is essentially the muscular tube that transports urine out of the body. Now, in the female model, which we can see over here when we open it up, if we look at the female, here's the urinary bladder here. The organ that sits above the urinary bladder is called the uterus. And this is why women in their third trimester of pregnancy often feel an intense need to urinate is because the developing fetus inside this uh, uterus here is essentially compacting their bladder down. Now, notice on the female, this little passageway here is the urethra. It's much, much shorter than what we saw in the male. Also notice that in the female, this passageway over here is the vagina. So in females, the urinary system, the urethra, and the reproductive system, the vagina, are completely separate. In the male model, the urethra essentially serves a dual purpose. It not only transports urine out of the bladder, but it's also the passageway for sperm to leave.